Hi Taurus, how's it going? And welcome to your July general reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Taurus, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Taurus, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Taurus, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Taurus, let's get right into it. We'll be doing a Celtic cross today. Again, this is your July general reading. And y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Again, for July, we're in Cancer season. That's water energy. Ooh, Taurus will have the lovers at the bottom of the deck as your theme. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, this is about a big divinely guided choice coming into your life, an option here, a divinely guided person to make a decision about, a divinely guided um, opportunity, a job, a home, a path, okay? Um, Eight of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, very, very good. I feel like for a lot of you, there's a huge learning lesson um, coming in and some type of choice you're gonna make. All right, what are the, what's the current energy, current situation for Taurus in July? Thank you. Queen of Swords, uh, air energy again. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign. Right now, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, having a conversation about an exciting new beginning. I feel like you're feeling out something that's very exciting to you. World card, Seven of Cups. This is very much conversation energy, wanting to talk, talk things through, where things have been maybe cloudy, stormy, confusing. As we communicate, we talk things through and things are starting to uh, become cooler in your situation. I saw like hot to cold. What's crossing Taurus right now? What's crossing Taurus? Thank you, spirit. I only wanna take one. It was the four of swords and the eight of wands. Can I just have one, please? What's the crossing energy for Taurus, please? Four of Pentacles, so something around the home, your uh, security, your foundation, Hierophant. I feel like you're just trying to be very clear in your communication about boundaries, what works for you, what doesn't, um, that type of thing with people, friends, family, um, career. I feel like you're just very much like, this is what I want, this is what I need, this is what I expect, here I am. Taurus right there. Hi, uh, you're the Hierophant, okay? You're like laying the law down. I like that. What's your focus? What are you focused on? Hermit, maybe some alone time, quiet time. Maybe some of you are focused on a Virgo specifically. Um, five of Wands, maybe pulling away, honestly, from anything that's uh, dramatic or causing any kind of um, uncomfortableness that you just want to pull away from it. What's in the recent past for Taurus, please? Beautiful. The full cards. You or someone took a leap of faith. There's been a, a new beginning here. Um, after a time of pain and grieving and letting go emotionally, you and or someone else said, yes, I'm taking this leap of faith. What's crowning you? What's crowning Taurus, please? I knew this was gonna come out. I thought this was gonna be your focus for some reason. Two of Cups. We have the Seven of Swords. In your mind right now, crowning energy, you, you are concerned about a person. Uh, it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a soulmate energy, someone who loves you and you love them. You care for them, they care for you. But the Seven of Swords here, I feel like you could be having some trust issues 
with this person three of swords five of wands yeah i feel like you're 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 not sure about someone can i trust them that type of thing what's in the near future for taurus high priestess ten of cups you follow your intuition towards your happiness your soul family knight of wands uh and the lovers was there Ace of Cups, I was like, anything else? Taurus, High Priestess. Again, a lot of you are starting to really uh, listen to the signs, uh, like synchronicities, that kind of thing, and go towards that um, in whatever your situation is. Let me see you. How is Taurus showing up in July? What is your power? Silence is your power because nothing came out on that round. So we'll go again. Some of you are doing a silent treatment for whatever reason. Taurus, what's your power in July? Ooh, world card tower, shutting down a cycle. Um, maybe for a lot of you looking back, like if you've been really isolated alone, you're closing that cycle down and maybe you'll be around more people or in a connection. Uh, tower, devil, page of wands. Woohoo! Okay, that is big transformational energy. What is hidden from Taurus? What's hidden from Taurus here? King of Swords, Two of Wands, could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You have the King and Queen of Swords uh, in your spread so far. I know your Earth, but this is a this is a counterpart, a pair. We have a feminine and masculine air energy. So you and someone are complementing each other on thoughts, ideas, communication. Uh, King of Swords hidden from you with the Two of Wands. I feel like there's gonna be a final decision, a final discussion of Two of Wands moving up into a situation, coming together in a situation. A new contract will be established. What are your hopes and fears, Taurus? High level commitment and maybe not having it could be a fear, yeah. Uh, the split. So maybe some of you want to stay in a connection, stay committed to Hierophant, your nine to five, what you believe in, um, that type of thing. And you could be fearing lover's energy, a splitting off or someone having options. All right, let's look at your outcome. What's the outcome here for Taurus? Thank you. We have the five of pentacles and we have the devil here, page of pentacles and we have the chariot. One more with the outcome, please. And then we have the queen of cups, okay? And then we have the four of swords, the star card and the knight of cups. I feel for a lot of you, um, this is my relationship card, my queen of cups. I wanted to get one more with that. Okay, so for a lot of you, you might be closing down a cycle um, of a relationship with someone, a connection, or you might be getting more rest and more peace. You're definitely talking things through. I feel like you're open to laying the law down and whatever your situation is in your team, community, in your home, in a relationship. Like you're very comfortable expressing yourself and your queen of swords. And it has everything to do with your, again, a home situation, um, your boundaries. I deserve this, but I don't deserve that, that type of thing. Um, and I, I do feel for a lot of you, you're focused on pulling away and a little bit of isolation energy. There has been something new um, that started up in the recent past. You do have love or a connection or a friendship on your mind. There is gonna maybe be a time of no communication um, in the near future um, world card as you close a cycle down and start a new cycle. So as we close something out, a new energy opens up, okay? There's gonna be some kind of final decision here a lot of you are hoping for a commitment and maybe fearing a split. Outcome, five of pentacles in the um, queen of cups. 
very much represents this world card energy of a lot of you are coming out of whether you're in a relationship or not, whether you have a huge family or not, whether you're around a lot of people or not every day or not, you're closing down the cycle of five of pentacles, abandonment, no one likes me, I'm not enough, I'll never be good enough, woe is me, woe is me, victim mentality. And we're closing that cycle down into, uh, and opening up the cycle of queen of cups unconditional love, loving myself, um, and also maybe healing a connection as we get out of that five of pentacles. Um, nothing's ever going to be good enough, that kind of vibe. You don't feel like you'll be good enough or someone that you're around could feel like they're never going to be good enough for you. I love the king and queen of swords though, because it's definitely you and whoever you're dealing with, friend, partner, boss, family member. Um, both parties are willing to talk, express, and communicate, okay? Let's go deeper. I've already pre-shuffled and clarified, um, or par party pre-shuffled and cut your clarification deck. We have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck, uh, Chariot, the uh, Cancer's card, to the Ten of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you are leaving this space of like, you're finding balance over your four of cups and getting into your ten of cups a lot of you are maybe more open to family to community to that type of thing instead of being so closed off to what's right here in front of you so for some of you it's just kind of like um you might have just felt bored in a situation and you didn't know where it was going all right let's go back to this queen of swords uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. This is conversation, um, trying to get through the thickness of something. Why is this here for Taurus? Ooh, ouch. Okay. Eight of cups, five of cups, six of wands, king of pentacles, you, king of wands, queen of wands, potential twin flame, um, encounter or re-encounter for a small group of you in the future the conversation looks like you're talking to someone hey i've really come a long way i'm not the same person i used to be um i've healed myself um a lot of you do see i see the six of wands on the two of cups part of your five of cups so as you have released and moved on from an old connection, a place, a job, a situation that wasn't quite panning out for you, I feel like you're open to talking about what does work for you. And that's kind of a part of this duality as well. I feel like there's been a focus on in the past in your situation of this has been hard. I've gone through this and I've had to start from scratch. I'm getting that for a lot of you with friends, with community, um, even with homes or locations for a group of you. And it's like you're explaining not only to yourself, but maybe to whoever you're dealing with here, like what you've been through and how, like how I'm just getting how far you've come, which you really have come far. And then it's like, and then now that you're starting to see like, well, I've been through this and this and this and this telling someone that. And then you're like, so therefore I can do this now and I can be this person and I'm better at this. Like, it's like you're recognizing your old ways versus your new ways. Okay. And also for some of you, this could be about a connection where you could be talking about you and someone we've come a long way and now we're successful for a group of you as well as we do have a lot of people here. Okay. So let's look at your crossing energy of the four of pentacles. Uh, this is about boundaries more than anything. Why is the four, four of pentacles crossing Taurus? Wow, 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 wow. What did I say earlier? This is totally coming full circle. Ace of swords, divine truth, undeniable truth, 10 of pentacles, five of pentacles. A lot of you are in a situation where you do have the Ten of Pentacles, you have it all kind of thing, a job, a career, some type of connection, a family for a lot of you, or just have a lot of that. That is your truth. But the Five of Pentacles, again, also is your outcome. A big part of y'all, Three of Swords, Hierophant, Taurus, um, for some reason keeps leaning and falling back into, 
I don't have that. I feel distant. I feel hurt. I feel pain um, either currently in this situation or that's something that you keep. I just keep their spirit saying you keep falling back into don't come for me. Um, but victim mentality, like um, that type of thing. Why is a five of pentacles here? Lover's card. So for a lot of you, it's a choice to split off. It's a choice to say, you know what, even though I have all this, I'm feeling uncomfortable on my internal side for whatever reason, because I've gone so far and done so much that it's so comfortable for you to lean out of a situation than it is for you to lean into a situation right now, especially in regards to love, family, um, or building a legacy right now. It's like, it's right there. You have it, you can grab it. But a lot of you also are like, but I don't have it. Five of pentacles. Why? Nine of wands. Because you're exhausted and you're tired and you've been through this time and time again. How do we fix it? You have to incorporate the new energy. You have to be willing to be a student again over and over and continue to learn your healing, learn about worth, learn about who you are, all those things. So I really feel like a lot of you have this like, like family or a great career or lots of love, but because it's taken so long or so much for you to get here, as soon as it's right here, no, it's not. Let me just throw it away. That is very self-sabotaging energy. Don't throw something away that's really good for you, okay? Why is the hermit your focus? It's isolation. It's pulling away. Why is that the focus for Taurus right now? Yeah, high priestess. A lot of you are just, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. Devil energy. I don't want to talk about the fact that I'm living in fear and acting in fear. I'm not coming for you, but that's what the energy is saying. Why are you focused on hermit energy? Seven of Pentacles, Empress. A lot of you are, are pulling away and maybe not running from someone or running from a job or running from a person or running from a situation, but you're pulling away so that you don't so that you don't lose something that you have. It's like when you pull away from a person or pull away from whatever and you go into your silent mode, Seven of Pentacles, Empress. It's like you give yourself time to recoup, to heal, to get back to your day-to-day, -day, and that puts you back in divine feminine energy, your empress energy, where you know what you deserve and you know what you should be receiving. Why do you pull away? Magician, queen of wands, knight of swords. A lot of you are pulling away to grab someone else's attention as your, your presence, your energy disappears from someone for a couple hours, a couple days, whatever, it's like, well, where's Taurus? Where's Taurus? And for a lot of you, that's the point. A lot of you know exactly what you're doing. Um, why is the Fool card in the recent past? Cards don't lie. I love y'all. I love you. But this is a little bit, a little bit tricky energy where it's like, I'm pulling away. I'm confused. I don't know. And yes, you're doing a lot of soul searching in that, but you're also confusing the heck out of something, a boss, a relationship, a family dynamic, because the Ten of Pentacles is here. You already have it. What's this new beginning in the recent past? Devil came right out. Why is the Fool here? Okay, Devil, Six of Cups, and the Eight of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's like there was something that you couldn't let go of, so you're just like said, like, screw it, F it, I'm just going to do it anyways. It has something to do with your past, either a past person um, or an old trait that you've had for a long time. Um, a fear-based reality, a fear-based toxic trait, drinking, smoking, drugs, that kind of thing. Um, but there was like an exciting new beginning around that. Um, why did the devil come through on that? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot of you um, are just continuing to maybe be an overgiver towards anybody from your past. Yeah. Why 
Why is the Two of Cups crowning you? It's a connection, a person. Dang, world card came out. It's the end of a cycle. A lot of you really are ready to end something with someone, a connection. Um, Page of Wands, uh, Queen of Wands. Why is the Two of Cups crowning Taurus, please? And then we have you and the Two of Pentacles. You know what you deserve, hair, foot energy. It's also your card, high level commitment. A lot of you are thinking about, you know, could I be with this person long term? Could I marry them? That type of thing for a group of you. Why the page of wands? Very immature energy. Justice, hangman, nine of pentacles. You're very inspiring to someone. Someone looks up to your work, your dedication, the way that you're just, I just keep hearing dedicated, the way you're dedicated to your family, someone's inspired by that. The way you're dedicated to your job, someone's inspired by that. The way you're dedicated to like your health, your, your routine, someone's inspired by that. Why the world card? Tower, five of swords, death card. A lot of you are just tired of fighting or arguing with somebody or fighting yourself and you're really considering closing a cycle down with this person. Let's look at the High Priestess in the near future. It's a card of non-communication, but it's also a card of listening to your gut and listening to your intuition. So let's see what's with that. Page of Swords, Judgment, Temperance. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. I don't know if there's going to be no communication, but the communication might be more minimal in the near future in this situation as you and or anyone else involved is going to take some time to reflect in the near future, do some healing and wait for divine timing to come into play because we need to reestablish four of pentacles, our boundaries and our worth in this situation. Why judgment? Ten of wands, two of wands, death card. Yeah, some of you are, are really um, highly considering shutting down a cycle uh, with somebody. Speaking of, let's look at you, you closing down a cycle, you being the world card. As we close down one cycle, something else is now available to be open. As one door closes, another one opens as that saying goes. But that's totally true. Why is Taurus the world card? Five of Swords and the Queen of Wands and the Four of Wands. Spirit, why is Taurus the World card? We have the Strength card, card of Leo, and the King of Wands. The, the door that you're closing down, Five of Swords, is any kind of either conflict with yourself, fighting yourself about something, or just any, if you've been having arguments, conflicts, fight, fights with anybody, more verbal and not getting along, you're just like, no, I'm not doing that. Queen of Wands, and whenever you close a door, it's actually gonna give you a huge boost of confidence. Um, and I feel like it's gonna make you feel really powerful um, with the Strength card here and the King of Wands. A lot of you might start a new cycle in a Twin Flame connection, or you might, um, because the, the Strength card, Queen, and the King of Wands right here, uh, Knight of Cups, a lot of you are either A, fighting yourself that you're in a Twin Flame connection or you that you've met your Twin Flame, or a lot of you are just closing down a cycle of Five of Swords. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Of also listening to other people's opinions, what my friends say, what my family says, what my boss says, what society says in regards to what you should do. Again, we're talking about the high priestess in the near future. The only person who knows for real what to do is you, and you can feel it right here, your intuition, right? So it's like your intuition is saying like, why do I fight this? You're overcoming uh, some type of also, a lot of you Taurus strength card on the queen of wands. You're overcoming um, a lack of confidence and stepping into higher confidence as the king of wands. 
So that's for a lot of you too. I just feel like you've maybe been not confident and you're becoming more confident. What's this King of Swords hidden from you? Ooh, Knight of Swords, Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Fool card, the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, what's the Knight of Swords about? Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, in the chariot if you're trying to split something from someone i feel like they're gonna fight fight you on it they're gonna i'm hearing you know backlash clap back that kind of thing lovers three of swords again wheel of fortune a lot of you could be leaving a karmic person karmic situation a toxic time in your life and stepping into something that's a lot better for you um, like a twin flame connection or just something that's more high vibrational. Why is the hair fit in your hopes and fears? Eight of wands and we have the hangman. Why is the Hierophant in your hopes and fears? It's also your card. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I don't know why I'm getting for some of you, if you're like in a serious relationship, if you're getting engaged, if you're getting married, like I don't know, moving in. There's something big going on for a group of you in your relationship status. And a lot of you, what you're afraid of your fear is like someone from your past an ex someone even related to an ex seeing online i'm getting online energy with the eight of wands seeing that you're doing well you're in a new relationship or you're thriving at your job or you know maybe you had a baby i don't know but like that's what the fear is for most of you you're, you're fearing what other people will see or think of what you're doing, who you're with, that type of thing. What's the Seven of Swords about? Ten of Swords, Two of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you hope, um, like don't want something to be over with. Why is the outcome, I'm gonna split it. Why is the outcome the five of pentacles? <clears throat> Four of cups, two of pentacles, queen of pentacles. That's that abandonment energy overwhelming you. A lot of you just get bored really easily, look the other way, get little like, anxiety busybody energy and that puts you on the outside and makes you feel like an outcast like an alien is what i heard or queen of cups Woo! wow or like i said if we can incorporate and learn um, from our mistakes, five of wands, how we've stirred the pot, taking responsibility for things that we've done on your queen of cups outcome. You have the queen of swords and the knight of pentacles. As you open up and express and talk something through with somebody and first and foremost with yourself, there's a higher chance of long lasting, whatever this is, long lasting job, long lasting relationship, long lasting legacy, keep going. Or if I stay in the energy of, nothing ever works out, I'm alone, I'm not attractive, blah, 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 blah. That same old story that we've ran over and over, if you keep that up, you absolutely will not be going anywhere. So which one is it? World card. Are you going to close that story down, five of swords? Are you going to stop telling yourself that story? Because the brave thing to do, strength card, and it's no joke. Strength card is tough energy. It's endurance, okay? Or can we endure the other side of this and start saying things like, 
I am beautiful. I am handsome. I am attractive. I am worth it. I am loved. I am abundant. I am everything. Which story right now are you telling yourself? Okay? Because it's going to take practice. You're a student and for a lot of you, I know you don't want to hear this Taurus, but y'all get all the time, oh, we're the stubborn ones. And I'm going to have to say, I'm always have your back on that. Except for right now, this group is being very stubborn about not wanting to learn how to get over this abandonment. Woe is me because it causes a hot mess now, doesn't it? When you pull away, play that game. Yeah, we miss you. Yeah, we want to see you all the stuff. But it's like, which, which, which version of yourself would you like to show us? <laughs> is what I'm getting, okay? You have a choice. Everything is always a choice. A lover's card is major theme energy here. It, originally, when Tarot was created, the lover's card was called the choice, the path and the road. Do I want to keep walking down this path that I know and it's comfortable, yet I know it doesn't really get me anywhere? Blech. Or... Can I turn over here? It's tough. I have to go through challenges. I have to look at myself. I have to face myself. Whoa, but it's just you. It's just you. Or can I do that and go down that path and stand in my power, own my stuff, and fall right into where things are supposed to be going? Open up to communication and be open to the opportunities that are right here for you. Which one? Which one? Taurus, I love y'all so much. Uh, we're going to do your pick a card. Um, and those of you that want to join us for the love reading, reconnect with your other person. That's the first link in the description box below. And the Taurus that won the pick a card this time is Angie Arnold. Angie, you are my winner. All right. So Taurus, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. My pick a card is only for my subscribers. There's absolutely no getting around it. Um, and then so be subscribed. Also, leave your name somewhere in the comment section down below so I know what name to write on your card. It's so easy. Be subscribed. Leave your name if you want me to consider you next time for the pick a card. I love y'all so much. I'll see you next time or in the love reading. All right, Angie, this is for you, my love. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. got one more spirit one of the best and highest messages for angie arnold taurus energy i feel like you're like a leader or a boss your name is very powerful with the double a's um seven of pentacles you're kind of planning things out right now judgment eight of swords um i kind of feel like some procrastination energy like a couple things have kind of gotten away from you little responsibility responsibilities and you're playing catch up right now like oh i don't need to do that and pay that bill and clean that thing and run that one errand and oh yeah call that one person i just feel like you're kind of playing catch up all right angie We have the three of wands. There's been some delays putting some things off. Six of cups, empress. Maybe because you're a mama or you appear that way. World card. Yeah, you feel like you've been really busy, like taking care of kids. You look like a, like a mom with kids for sure. And no wonder. You're like, well, yeah, the house is dirty because I have kids. Like that kind of thing. And even if you're not a literal mom, I do feel like you take care of like a lot of people, especially energetically and emotionally. So you're in some type of mommy role. Knight of Cups. El Diablo came out. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. I actually don't think this double is bad. It's all good cards, except the three of wands can be a little bit of, like I said, procrastinate, procrastination or delay. Okay. 
someone wants to help you out. I do feel like um, you're very busy and have pushed off a lot of just things, responsibilities, duties, things you need to play catch up on because of Six of Cups, Empress, children, you take care. I almost feel like babysitting or maybe you like run a daycare. Like there is something where you either literally are in charge of a lot of people that are younger than you or or energetically, um, like even your friend group could be like, oh gosh, like I'm always play mom, you know? Knight of Cups, there is some kind of offer on their on its way. Um, a cup of love. I do feel some type of proposal. And then we have the devil here. It could be from a Capricorn. Um, and then we have whatever it is, the Queen of Pentacles. You feel safe and you land it is what I hear. Let's look at your three of wands for Angie, please. Yeah, you've been tired. You've been sleeping like that kind of thing. You've been pulled away, maybe getting your rest. Seven of Cups in the full card. I feel like you're ready to come out of like this hermit mode. Uh, I feel like you've been doing a little bit of soul searching and you feel refreshed. Justice after some type of information came in to help you out. Why the Six of Cups for Angie? What is this Six of Cups about? Yeah, I do. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Page of Pentacles. I do feel like you either have a new child, you're like a new mom. Seven of Pentacles, you've been you've been waiting on this and planning this. Or maybe you just found out you're pregnant or something like that and you're just at a at a at a standstill. Yeah, you've definitely been held back basically in the past A because you're pregnant or finding out or have something to do with taking care of of lots of people like children or people that act like children but it does feel new like i almost want to say that you've had a baby recently congrats if that's you why is the empress here Ooh, four of wands, beautiful, nine of pentacles, five of swords, ten of cups. Yeah, even though there's a little bit of back and forth here, I feel like you are ultimately in a very happy like relationship, home life. I do feel like there's someone that's a little bit gives you conflict and maybe talks down to you because you might be um, nine of pentacles. You might work for yourself, be an entrepreneur. What is that about? Nine of Swords, King of Pentacles. I feel like there's a masculine around you that's jealous or gives you some kind of whatever, whatever. Like if you make more money than him. Or you know what I mean? Like someone causes a little bit of a fight about that with you. And it feels about money or your independence. But Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups feels like a happy family at the same time. Like I almost feel like you internally fight your independence um, versus... Um, some type of connection that you're in. What's this Knight of Cups for Angie? What is this? Queen of Swords, High Priestess. This will be a love offer that will overwhelm you, but you're not going to tell anybody about it. You're not telling anybody about it. And then why the devil? And no wonder we have the devil now. We have on the devil, we have the hangman, a change of perspective, um, someone's final decision, chariot, nine of wands. I feel like someone's trying to offer you their cup of love. I don't either you don't tell anybody about it or you just like keep it to yourself for a while for whatever reason. <clears throat> and whatever this person says or however they say it, it's however they say it changes your perspective and where maybe you had already made a decision to leave, I actually think that you choose to stay even though this feels a little toxic and codependent. It doesn't matter, it's not my choice, it's not my life, it's yours. 
So I do feel like there is a little bit of someone that challenges you around money or your independence, even though you seem like a baller mom or you like work for yourself. There's a masculine that does kind of give you a hard time because of just how either independent and strong you are. And that's not a you problem. That's a them problem, babe. So I need you to understand and know that. All right, lovely. Um, that's what I have for you. I do feel because you're going from an empress to a queen of pentacles. It is a step down. It's not a bad step down, but it's a... I really just want you to think about all this, okay? Check in with you. Check in with your body. How does your body feel about this situation? Ask your body. Also, you might need to learn about tapping. I'm tapping for some reason for you. Power and heart. You've lost power over your heart. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're going deep. All right, Angie, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.